I just wanted to post a quick video here showing an issue we noticed with the EEPROM plugin, uh, with the EasyPy and OctoPrint setups in general. So we're going to pull up our EasyPy here. Uh, I got a couple of different ones here. We've got our CR10 Mini. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little wrench here at the top. And we're going to go to plugins or plugin manager, I should say. And then you look for Marlin EEPROM plugin. You may have to change what page number to see it, but you're going to click this little button here that says disable plugin and hit restart now and hit proceed. At this point, that plugin is now going to be disabled. And the issue is that when it's querying the data, it's using an M501 to do so, which is going to restore the EEPROM settings that are in the EEPROM which is then in turn going to disable auto bed leveling. So if you're in the middle of the print and you pull this plugin up, it's for sure going to disable auto bed leveling. And this is for version 1.2.1 for that specific plugin. And the issue is that it intermittently will pull an M501. So in the middle of the print, it'll just disable your settings, um, which is not good. So I'm going to be disabling this on all of our Raspberry Pis. I'm going to be looking at their code because it is open source and on GitHub and mid pull making a pull request to fix the code for them. So they should be using M503, which will pull the current information out of the EEPROM. Um, or if they want to still use M51, they should use, at least have a default to M503 and have a selectable option. But it shouldn't be restoring um, the EEPROM defaults, especially during a print, because uh, this will turn off bed leveling. 